All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I hope y'all doing all right and staying strong out there. I pray that whatever challenge and battles you're facing, I pray that you conquer, you overcome, and that you go to a higher level spiritually. I pray that you are safe and protected. I pray that you are baptized and cleansed. I pray that you have the Holy Spirit. I pray that the Most High guides your steps and He protects you. I pray that you have a close relationship with the Most High. And I pray that you better your environment around you as well. Hallelujah. So in today's message, it's going to be kind of like a scramble, kind of a rant, kind of go all over the place a little bit because I want to go uh, talk about carnal topics just for a little bit and switch back to scripture in a sense because it's just so much going on right now. You know what I mean? Um, as we know, America, a lot of people just kind of just going through all types of different scenarios right now. A lot of people are battling mental health issues. A lot of people are dealing with a loss of a friend or a loved one. A lot of people are battling health issues. Many people are just having a real struggle with their finances and their job career situation or feel like they're stuck or stagnant at a a standstill. Um, There's a lot of people who, you know, just got a lot going on, family issues or friendship issues or what have you. A lot of people are dealing with loneliness. A lot of people are dealing with suicidal thoughts. A lot of people are just dealing with so much left and right. You know, a lot of people just are just feeling just all over right now. A lot of people feel overwhelmed. You know, like it's a lot of fatigue. A lot of t- a lot of people are tired, and not just physically tired, but just mentally tired, spiritually tired, emotionally tired. Right. And we have to really fight daily, all right, those daily battles with our mental health, our spiritual health, our day-to-day living condition. You know, we have, it's a daily battle, you know what I mean? And so much people right now just feel so just in that dark place, you know. And a lot of people just in different conditions right now, you know. And this is a more optimistic message, not a motivational message or not no feel-good message. It's a real honest, down-to-earth message, you know, like, Cry out to the Lord. Put it all in the Lord's hands. You know what I mean? Whatever situation you're in right now, be honest about how you really feel about it and pray to the Most High. Just pray, pray, cry out to Him and sit down and calm down. Take some deep breaths. Stay hydrated and really just plan. Have some plans. Be more strategic about your situation, how to fix your problems and be more solution oriented. All right, don't entertain your feelings too much and get too caught with your moose wings. Be more stable and be more strong and just kind of be more uniform and be more consistent and be firm. You know, God wants us to be firm in every situation that we face, all right? So, you know, we got to face things head on. We got to hold ourselves more accountable. We got to hold ourselves to a higher standard and expectation. And we have to, you know, everything has to be, solution oriented and we have to get results out of everything that we're doing okay we have to stop wasting our energy stop wasting our time you know stop wasting our time with negative people you know what i mean if you have to isolate yourself and be by yourself with it then let it be let let the most high be with you okay because a lot of people are battling betrayal and loneliness and fallouts and burn bridges and i just want you to um always forgive and don't be bitter and you know get your relationship with the most high stronger if you're having fallouts with people what have you uh do your best to walk in unforgiveness and try to come to a solution or closure with that but if it's a little too out of your hands then just pray about it and go to the most high uh cleanse your heart and have a clean slate okay and um it's like yeah i just want to talk about that on a personal level now what's going on news wise uh i believe the country sri lanka If I'm saying it right, Sri Lanka, my bad if I'm mispronouncing it. Um, Those people out there are going through bankruptcy. They're going through, I believe, fuel oil issues as well. They're going through a lot out there. And I just want to pray to those people out there in Sri Lanka. I pray that um, they could get some type of uh, necessities, you know, try to survive better, try to find a way. Um, You know, I want to also pray for Congo. There's a lot going on in Congo with those disputes and a lot going on war-wise and violence-wise over there in Congo and other parts of Africa as well. Like, it's a lot just going on that the news is not talking about. I want to pray for those in Ecuador. Um, you know, they've been really protesting like crazy over the inflation 
and the cost of living in those issues down there and the fuel as well and the resources. I want to pray to the Netherlands um, up in Europe. They're having issues with farmers and food and products and, and produce and things of that nature. Um, there's like empty grocery shelves up there in Netherlands. So my heart goes out to those those Dutch, you know, those up there. Um, yeah, it's it's just a lot going on, you know. It's just so much going on that the, it's to a point where the news is only just talking about little stupid stuff or distractions. They're not talking about the real stuff. They're leaving out the real stories, you know, real day to day things going on that's affecting people's lives daily with their living condition and their mental health and the whole nine. It's really crazy out here. Um, they really messing with the resources. They mess with people's food, the gas, the inflation. They mess with people's survival and living conditions. And this is very horrible. And a lot of people are fighting back. A lot of people are really going against the grain, going against the authoritative figures, going against the politicians and what have you. Because people are tired. Uh, people are tired. And, you know, this whole thing, all of this is all prophecy. Uh, Christ talked about how... In the book of Matthew 24, how all these things must come to pass, dealing with nature, disaster, health, famine, you know, how people are going to treat each other. Christ already prophesied this. All the prophets like Daniel, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, they all prophesied all these things too. Isaiah, all of them. And then Paul talked about perilous times as well with people, personality traits and their character and how they're treating each other. Paul talked about this as well. So... All these things are all documented in the word, in the scripture, and it's all planned out day to day in this prophecy, in this times that we're in, okay? So as these times get more crazy, we have to level up to the most high. This is the time to come out of this system and come out of Babylon and come into the kingdom of heaven, come into the most high, come into the covenant, come into the law, statutes of commandments, um, repent, you know, turn back, turn from your ways, you know, and become a new creature in Christ. This is the time for it. The book of Daniel discusses how we are the everlasting generation that's being raised up. So this is a beautiful time to have a relationship with the Most High and to really cling on to him and his word, you know, and to live better because this world is just going down the drain left and right. America's going down the train, going down the drain. These other countries are going down the drain. The whole world is getting all four corners of the earth. They're all getting that judgment. They're all getting that calamity. They're all just getting that. Um, harsh cruelty from these authoritative people and these people in position. Um, all of his prophecy, uh, the Most High talked about how the terror and all of these things will come to pass um, in these evil days. You know, so we have to get right with the Most High. We have to get right with Christ. Uh, we should really strive for a relationship with Him and to seek Him and to want a new life because this life that we're all currently living in right now, this is just a bit too much. You know what I mean? So we have to get our life together with christ you know life with the most high is just it's, it's very just much more rewarding than just not having the lord in your life you know what i mean when the most high spiritually protects you he has that protective hedge around you he's divinely protecting you and looking after you and the ones around you and he's kept and he's you know he's making sure he's guiding your steps and your feet and making you avoid a lot of things and make you dodge a lot of bullets you gotta be grateful and praise him for that you know what i mean so like I said, it's just so it's just so much going on, you know, and I just want to, you know, express some love, express some encouragement, express some prayer, express some express some comfort, um, you know, because we all need to do that. We all need to encourage each other. We need to comfort each other. We need to pray for each other. We need to push each other. You know, iron sharpens iron, you know, tough love, correction, edification. We reproof. We need those things. You know what I mean? Um, there's, there's, there's a lot just going on right now, okay? So just want to kind of just air that out a bit with the personal things going on, the global things going on as well. So what I would like to do is just read some scriptures that can, you know, you know, just keep you kind of calm in these times that are in. You know, the word, it really corrects us, it edifies us, it really brings us back into who we are. We have to remember that we are treasure, we are royalty in the most highest eyes. We are a royal priesthood. We are a holy people. We are a peculiar people. We are a set apart people. We are in this world, but not of it. Okay, we are the most highest treasure. We are the least of the people and the most high still with us. We are treasure. We are refined gold. We are refined silver. See, these challenging, crazy, hard times that we're in, the most high is actually refining us through it. Through these crazy times, this prophecy unfolding, he's he's strengthening us. He's building us up. He's molding us into who we're actually supposed to be in his eyes, all right? 
So that's why these process and these situations, the suffering, the oppression, the hard times, everything just feels so heavy and intense. But the reward and outcome of it for us believers is going to be beautiful. So we got to keep fighting a good fight, keep on the armor of God, stay blessed and strong. Even through these, in the case, in the midst of all this chaos and craziness, we got to still stand firm in the Lord because that's what the Most High wants us to do. He's testing our minds. He's testing our heart. He's testing our soul. He's testing our faith. He's testing our character, you know. So let us let us not be weary in doing good, you know. We will be rewarded in due time, all right? So let's keep pressing off for the Lord, okay? I know your situation looks a little crazy right now. I know your emotions are kind of all over the place right now. And right now, you're probably walking by sight instead of faith. So that's why you feel overwhelmed. But um, we have to walk by faith and not by sight, all right? I know what we're seeing, our sight is really just, it's a lot, you know, well, as far as the distractions and the things in our face, it's a lot, but we have to keep our eyes on the prize, keep our eyes on the most high, you know what I mean? And handle our situations face to face and confront it or what have you and go about it the best way you can, but let's all keep the most high first, okay? Let's let's clean up them bad habits, let's clean up our our filth, let's clean up our fleshly things, Let's let's tighten up and do better. Those are some battles we're dealing with, but let's break them off. Let's break off these strongholds. Let's break off these uh, generational curses. Let's break off these unclean spirits and these negative emotions and feelings. Let's, let's shake it off. Let's fight it off, all right? Let's stay blessed and strong, okay? So I'm going to read some scriptures to kind of comfort us, and let's just go from here, okay? Hallelujah. Here we go. The book of Psalm 52, verse 8. But as for me... I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the love and kindness of God forever and ever. The book of Psalm 125, verse 1, a song of ascents. Those who trust in the Lord are as Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. The book of Psalm 25, verse 4 through 5. Make me know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For you, I wait all the day. The book of Psalm 56, verse 4. In God, whose word I praise. In God, I have put my trust. I shall not be afraid. What can mere man do to me? The book of Psalm 71, verse 5. For you are my hope. O Lord God, you are my confidence from my youth. The book of Psalm 91, verse 2. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Hallelujah. The book of Nahum, the book of Nahum, chapter Nahum, Nahum, chapter one, verse seven. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knows those who take refuge in him. The book of Second Corinthians, chapter one, verse 10 through 11. Who delivered us from so great a peril of death and will deliver us, he on whom we have set our hope, and he will yet deliver us, you also joining and helping us through your prayers, so that thanks may be given by many persons on our behalf for the favor bestowed on us through the prayers of many. The book of Psalm 27, verse 1 through 3. A Psalm of David. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the defense of my life. Whom shall I dread? When evil doer, when evil doers came upon me to devour my flesh, my adversaries and my enemies, they stumbled and fell. Though a host encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war arise against me, in spite of this, I shall be confident. Hallelujah. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 7. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose trust is the Lord. All right, the book of Micah, the book of Mika, the book of Micah, chapter 7, verse 7. But as for me, I will watch expectantly for the Lord. I will wait for God. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 6. So that we confidently say, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What will man do to me? The book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 14. This is the confidence which we have before him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 5 through 8. 
Now he who prepared us, who prepared us for this very purpose is God, who gave to us the spirit as a pledge. Therefore, being always of good courage and knowing that while we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. For we are of good courage. I say and, per, I say and prefer rather to be absent from the body and to be at home with the Lord. The book of Acts chapter 24, verse 14 through 15. But this I admit to you that according to the way which they call a sect, I do serve the God of our fathers. Believe in everything that is in accordance with the law and that is written in the prophets, having a hope in God, which these men cherish themselves, that there shall certainly be a resurrection of both the righteous and the wicked. The book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 5. For we through the spirit by faith are waiting for the hope of righteousness. The book of Philippians chapter 1 verse 3 through 6. I thank my God in all my remembrance of you, always offering prayer with joy. In my every prayer for you all, in view of your participation in the gospel from the first day until now, for I am confident of this very thing, that he who began a good work in you will perfect until the day of Christ Jesus. The book of Isaiah, chapter 12, verse 1 through 2. Then you will say on that day, I will give thanks to you, O Lord, for although you were angry with me, your anger is turned away and you comfort me. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid for the Lord God is my strength and song and he has become my salvation. The book of Ezra chapter 10 verse 2. Shekaniah, the son of Jahil, one of the sons of Elam, said to Ezra, we have been unfaithful to our God and have married foreign women from the peoples of the land. Yet now there is hope for Israel in spite of this. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 4 through 5. Such confidence we have through Christ towards God. Not that we are adequate in ourselves to consider anything as coming from ourselves, but our, adequ our adequacy is from God. Hallelujah. The book of Ephesians chapter 3, verse 12. In whom we have boldness and confident access through faith in him. The book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 16 through 17. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who has loved us and given us eternal comfort and good hope by grace, comfort and strengthen your hearts in every good work and word. The book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 21 through 22. Beloved, if our heart does not condemn us, we have confidence before God. And whatever we ask, we receive from him because we keep his commandments and do the things that are pleasing in his sight. The book of John, chapter 14, verse 1. Do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. The book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 13. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that you will abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. The book of Psalm 9, verse 10. And those who know your name will put their trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. The book of Psalm 37, verse 3 through 5. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and cultivate faithfulness. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him, and he will do it. The book of Psalm 42, verse 5. Why are you in despair, O my soul? And why have you become disturbed within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him for the help of his presence. The book of Psalm 115, verse 9 through 11. O Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. O house of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. You who fear the Lord, Trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. The book of John 14, verse 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do, gives do I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled, nor let it be fearful. The book of John, chapter 16, verse 33. These things I have spoken to you, so that in me you may have peace. In the world you have tribulation. But take courage. I have overcome the world. 
The book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 12. Rejoicing in hope, persevering in tribulation, devoted to prayer. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 6, verse 17. Instruct those who are rich in this present world not to be conceited or to fix their hope on the uncertainty of riches, but on God, who richly supplies us with all things to enjoy. The book of Hebrews, chapter 14. The book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 15. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has been tempted in all things as we are, yet without sin. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 19 through 23. Therefore, brethren, since we have confidence to enter the holy place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, which he inaugurated for us through the veal, the veal that is his flesh. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a sincere heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. Hey, he's faithful, y'all. The book of 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 13. Therefore, prepare your minds for action. Keep sober in spirit. Fix your hope completely on the grace to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. The book of 1 John chapter 2, verse 28. Now little children abide in him so that when he appears, we may have confidence and not shrink away from him in shame at his coming. The book of Second Chronicles chapter 32, verse 8. With him is only an arm of flesh, but with us is the Lord our God to help us and to fight our battles. And the people relied on the words of Hezekiah, the king of Judah. The book of Proverbs chapter 12, verse 25. Anxiety in a man's heart weighs it down, but a good word makes it glad. The book of Proverbs chapter 31, verse 11. The heart of her husband trusts in her, and he will have no lack of gain. The book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. After you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace who called you to his eternal glory in Christ will himself be perfect, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 4. Great is my confidence in you. Great is my boasting on your behalf. I am filled with comfort. I am overflowing with joy in all our, in all our affliction. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 8 through 9, who will also confirm you to the end, blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful through whom you were called into fellowship with his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17, for this reason, I have sent you to Timothy, who is my beloved and faithful child in the Lord. And he will remind you of my ways, which are in Christ, just as I teach everyone in every church, just as I teach everywhere in every church. All right. The book of Second Corinthians, chapter one, verse seven. And our hope for you is firmly grounded, knowing that as you are shares of our sufferings, so also you are shares of our comfort. The book of Second Corinthians, chapter two, verse three. This is the very thing I wrote you, so that when I came, I would not have sorrow from those who ought to make me rejoice, having confidence in you all that my joy would be the joy of you all. The book of Second Corinthians chapter 8, verse 22. We have sent with them our brother, whom we have often tested and found diligent in many things, but now even more diligent because of his great confidence in you. The book of Philippians chapter two, verse 22. But you know of this, but you know of his proven worth that this, that he served with me in the furtherance of the gospel like a child serving his father. The book of Colossians chapter four, verse nine. And with him, Onesimus, our faithful and beloved brother, who is one of your number, they will inform you about the whole situation here. The book of 2 Timothy, chapter 1, verse 12. For this reason, I also suffer these things, but I am not ashamed. For I know whom I have believed, and I am convinced that he is able to guard what I have trusted to him until that day. The book of Psalm 146, verse 3. Do not trust in princes and mortal men whom there is no salvation. The book of Judges, chapter 9, verse 26. Now Gael 
Gael, the son of Abed, came with his relatives and crossed over into Shishim, and the men of Shishim put their trust in him. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 15, verse 32. Then Samuel said, Bring me Agag, the king of the Am- Amalekites, the Amalekites. And Agag came to him cheerfully, and Agag said, Surely the bitterness of death is past. The book of Job, chapter 6, verse 20. They were disappointed for they had entrusted. They came there and were co-founded. Confounded. The book of Job, chapter 8, verse 12 through 13. While it is still green and not cut down, yet it withers before any other plant. So are the paths of all who forget God and the hope of the godless will perish. The book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 7. When a, when a wicked man dies, his expectation will perish, and the hope of strong men perishes. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 7, verse 4. Do not trust in deceptive words, saying, This is the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 9, verse 4. Let everyone be on guard against his neighbor, and do not trust any brother, because every brother deals craftily, and every neighbor goes about as a slanderer. Okay, now let's see. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 6. Therefore, being always of good courage and knowing that while we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. All right. Let's see. Let's see. The book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16. Rejoice always. Always rejoice. The book of Psalm 31, verse 24. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who hope in the Lord. The book of Proverbs, chapter 17, verse 22. A joyful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit dries up the bones. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 10 through 11. For thus says the Lord, when when 70 years have been completed for Babylon, I will visit you and fulfill my good word to you to bring you back to this place. For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for a welfare and not for calamity, to give you a future and a hope. The book of Psalm 118, verse 24. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Love that scripture. Hallelujah. The book of Psalm 121, verse 1. A song of ascents. I will lift up my eyes to the mountains. From where shall my help come? The book of Psalm 112, verse 7 through 8. He will not fear evil tidings. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. His heart is upheld. He will not fear until he looks with satisfaction on his adversaries. Here we go. The book of Psalm 37, verse 37. Mark the blameless man and behold the upright. For the man of peace will have a posterity. Hallelujah. So let's let's stay strong and optimistic, people. I know things are looking really weird and sideways. Things are looking crazy right now. Things have got you just got your mind spinning. I know. Right. But let us keep being refined by the most high. Let us keep staying strong and firm. OK, let our faith be stronger in the Lord. OK, let us be more bold. OK, the most High's people, we have been under this captivity and oppression. It's time for us to break free. We are free in Christ. Hallelujah. Let us have our power and dominion. Let us have our health back. Let us have everything back restored. And let us keep growing in Christ, okay? Let us have that confidence, that courage, that strength, that faith and that trust. You know what I mean? Let's heal that broken heart. Let's have that hope and that faith, all right? Let's have that confidence. Let's have that peace, that comfort, the strength, you know? Trust in the most high in difficult times, you know? Let's let's, let's keep it strong, all right? Let's keep being strong, all right? So I just want to be more optimistic because a lot of people are spreading negativity and hate and discouragement. I just want to spread positivity, encouragement, and love because we need to spread that more often. Um, love covers all sins. Hallelujah. So we have to keep spreading that love, you know? So, so much going on in the world, so much going on in the country. Let's keep staying prayed up and strong for the most high. Let's keep bettering ourselves, okay? So there y'all have it. So now what we're going to do as we close out is we're going to give all glory to the most high of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We're going to explain how great he is and how great his son is as we close out.
So here we go. He is the Adam, the Advocate, the Almighty, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The Apostle of our profession, the Arm of the Lord, the Atonement Sacrifice for our sins, the Author and Finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. He's the Author and Finisher of our faith. He is the Author and Perfecter of our faith. He is the Author of life, the Author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the Beloved Son, the Blessed and Only Potent, the blessed and only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father, the faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, the first born over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, the king eternal, the king of Israel, the king of kings and Lord of lords, the king of saints, the king of the ages, the king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last item, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the lie of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, Lord, Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, Ahaya, Yeshaya, Yeshua, Shalom, Shalom, Barakatha, our righteousness, Lord of all, Lord of glory, Lord of lords, man from heaven, man of sorrows, mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God our great God and Savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb, the power of God, hallelujah, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the ruler of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, the son of the blessed, the son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine, the way, the truth, and life, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word. Hallelujah. Amen. That y'all have it as we close out. We serve an awesome creator and his son is amazing for dying for our sins. The blood still works, y'all. We are covered in his blood. Hallelujah. So there you have it. Let's all keep our head up. Let's hang in there in these crazy times because times are going to get more challenging and more harder. So we got to get better in our relationship with the Lord. And we got to be better with our choices and our lifestyles. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray to God that whoever listens to this message, I pray that you get baptized. And you start your life over for the most high. I pray that you have new beginnings. I pray that you have open doors. I pray that the most high makes you move to a different place. I pray that you walk by faith and not by sight. I pray that you trust the Lord more than ever. I pray that you can help others around you. And I pray that you keep growing in Christ. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.